My word, Inspector, have you been drinking? Drinking? On duty? Certainly not, madam. Now, to the matter at hand. Miss Hudson, I'm investigating this morning's fracas. Uh, well, yes, Inspector, but this young lady, Miss X, has been waiting patiently to see Mr. Evans, so I'll just show her up first. Miss X? You mean he's not... I see. Hmm. Well, do show her up. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Um, do pardon the misunderstanding, Miss. Only do my duty. Come along, Miss. This way. So, I assume that you, Madam, are Mrs. Bobbington Sears. Um, yes. Uh, well, something like that. Uh, oh, I see. Well, before we proceed to the matter pertaining to upstairs, I feel it's my duty to inform you as a respectable and responsible member of the police force about the carryings on what I witnessed earlier on in the uh, bedroom. Carry on, Inspector. I assure you, there's been no carrying on in this household since we were relieved at the ladysmith. What you do in the privacy of your own home is your own affair. Nevertheless, the corrupting of other persons with willful intent to wit young ladies of the kind recently present and upstanding members of our community like Mrs. Atson. Have you been in, you sure you haven't been drinking? I have already answered that question, madam. Oh, then it must be me. Now, as I was saying, I've known Mrs. Atson many years, a woman of upstanding character and without previous blemish, so to speak. The corrupting of such persons may be construed to be of interest to holders of law and order and standards of public decency. I wonder what you're really like when you are drunk. Kindly remember, madam, Baker Street is a respectable neighbourhood, and if you wish to persist in these activities, I suggest you relocate yourself to a less salubrious part of the metropolis. I do hope I make myself clear. I have the faintest idea what you are talking about. And if you have something to say, can you speak in plain English? And as for this being a respectable neighbourhood, it might be if you would remove that friend of yours from upstairs to an asylum for the criminally insane and let all the decent people get on with their lives. Perhaps they might find a place for you there too. I am surprised that you continue with this transparent display of innocence when all the evidence is clearly against you. I shall refrain from asking at this time what this instrument might be used for. The mind fairly boggles. <laughs> 